Discord. All right, good to go. Well, greetings, everybody. Um, welcome to the Amherst Design Review Board meeting of July 24th, 2023. My name is Erica Dikos, and as the chair of the Amherst Design Review Board, I'm calling this meeting to order at 5.01 p.m. The meeting is being recorded and will be made available via the Town of Amherst YouTube channel and minutes are being taken. Pursuant to Chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021 and extended again by Chapter 2 of the Acts of 2023, this meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so via Zoom or by telephone. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. A hyperlink to the hearing will be posted on the town's online calendar. Board members, I will take a roll call and when I call your name, please unmute yourself, answer affirmatively and return to mute. Catherine Porter. Present. Thank you, Lindsay Schnarr. Here. And Erica Dickens, that's me. And we, um, just as a side note, um, are awaiting uh, appointment of members, representatives serving from the Historical Commission and the Planning Board. But we do have a quorum with uh, the three of us present tonight. Um, and Rob Wachilla and Chris Brestrup from the uh, here tonight as well. Um, board members, if technical issues arise, we may need to pause temporarily to fix the problem and then continue the meeting. If the discussion needs to pause, it will be noted in the minutes. Please use the raise hand function to ask a question or make a comment. I will see your request and call on you to speak. After speaking, remember to remove yourself. The general public comment item is reserved for public comment re regarding items that are not on tonight's agenda. Please be aware that the board will not respond to comments during the general public comment period. Public comment could also be heard at other times during the meeting when determined appropriate. Please indicate that you wish to make a comment by clicking the raise hand button uh, when public comment is solicited. If you've joined the Zoom meeting using a telephone, please indicate that you wish to make a comment by pressing star nine on your phone. When called on, please identify yourself by stating your full name and address and put yourself back into mute when finished speaking. Residents can express their views for up to three minutes or at the discretion of the design review board chair. If a speaker does not comply with these guidelines or exceeds their allotted time, their participation will be discontinued from the meeting. Tonight's agenda includes the following. Uh, DRB FY 2023, number 23, Kendrick Property Management to construct a fence at the rear of the building at 69 Main Street. And DRB FY 2401, White Lion Brewing Company to install tables and chairs for outdoor dining at 24 North Pleasant. We'll move on to approval of the May 22 meeting minutes, then general public comment period, other business, and um, let's get started with uh, Kendrick Park Property Management. Do we have a uh, representative in attendance tonight? I believe we do. We have a Mr. Croy Paquette from Four Seasons Fencing. Um, I could promote him to be a panelist so he can uh, present to Fantastic. the board. All right. So Croy, you have to accept the invitation when you get it. All righty. Can you, can you hear me? Hi, Corey. Nice to see you. Yeah, we can hear you just fine. Um, quick quick question for you. Are you able to share your screen or would you like me to do that on your behalf? The images um, that you sent. I, yeah, I'm not sure how to do that. I'm, I'm operating from my, from my handheld device. I could not make it back to my office uh, in time. No problem at all. Um, I've got you. I just have to track down those files. Um, do you want to start off with like a little introduction to what you're proposing? Yeah, so so I was um, Scott from Kendrick Property Management got in touch with me in regards to putting in a few panels in the rear of 69 Street. 
and um, and basically, I believe the neighbors have continued had continued to use um, the space that's that's I guess not rightfully theirs. Mm -hmm. and um so so basically it's it's just a, a a divider there between um the living quarters if you're looking from the rear to the right um and the business that's going in at 69 main street somehow i've lost track of oh no there are the pictures okay great can you see this one did the screen just change Somebody told yep. me it's the, the bright picture with the cardboard box in the front. Okay. And then you sent this, the picture of the fence. Yeah, that's the cut sheet for the panel. So it's in, it's uh, six foot height. The panels are eight foot in length and there will be three panels totaling 24 linear foot. And there's the drawing. Yep. Okay. Lindsay or Catherine, anything to ask yeah. or comment on? No, it looks fine to me. As uh, I suppose the one question is, uh, what, is there gonna be any um, conflict about the pl placement? You said uh, this fence will be on your property, right? Or the property of the people you're doing the fence for, not, con not in the proper, not, uh, in the uh, adjacent uh, property, right? N no, ma'am, it will be on the property of 69. Yeah, okay. All right, okay, fine. Looks good. <clears throat> Lindsay, any thoughts? Can you go back to the previous slides, please? There's that one, and then... We got this one. Yeah. And then the drawing. Oh, yes, hang on. This one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's, I mean, I don't see any issues um, as long as the, the electrical box looks like it's going to be pretty close to that post, but um, I, otherwise, I'm not. I'm not too concerned. Yeah, I would say, um, nor am I. I mean, I'm, I don't know if it says anywhere of the material of the fence. Oh, vinyl, okay. Yeah. Yep. So it's PVC or vinyl, it'll be white. Yeah. <clears throat> I think it'll be an improvement. <laughs> right. Yeah. And then um, there's no, um, door access to the property on on the right it's no like right narrowing of the pathway or anything like that so I know it's not, I it's not it obstructing is. pathway okay <clears throat> um all right so i'm okay i move that we approve the uh petition for this uh fence as is I second that. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Unanimous okay. vote. Thank you. You're all set. Good to go. <laughs> all righty. So I can find that uh, permit in the when it, when I log on to the Amherst.gov site. So basically, um, I'll tell. Jennifer Mullins, who you've been contacting with, uh, that the DRB gave the approval to go ahead and move forward. So um, you can reach out to her about next steps. I believe you have to get, um, I'm not sure what kind of permit you need after. In fact, I don't know if you need a administrative approval or not, but um, you could uh, reach out to her tomorrow and I'll let her know that the DRB approved uh, your permit to go ahead and move forward with the, with the fence. Um, Erica, we do have a hand raise. I don't know if somebody in the audience, if, Jesse Wall. I don't know if you wanted to let the person speak or, or what, but. Well, I suppose we could, in, if it's a member of the public, we could invite a public comment on this at this time. We don't okay. have a yeah, I'll, big I'll, agenda tonight. That's fine. I'll invite that person to talk real quick. Um, okay. Here we go.
Hi, my name is Jesse Wall, and I would like to say that Catherine is sending me very explicit images. Um, and that's all I have to say. Thank you. Fuck you. It's a Zoom bomber. All right. Well, this guy yeah. is going to get removed. Uh, there you go. I caught that early on, Catherine. I knew as soon as you started going down that route. Yeah. Sorry about that, Catherine. That yeah, was sorry about that. An uncomfortable moment. Yes, it was. Um, so, Croy, you're all set. All righty. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. All right. Thank you. Okay. And then we'll move on then to uh, White Lion Brewing. <clears throat> all right. So, we have a Mr. Ray Barry, and I can Excellent. promote him to a panelist for you. Excellent. Excellent. And, Ray, you have to accept the invitation when you get it. Nice background. Oh. Hi, Ray, can you hear us? He might be fixing some uh, stuff on his end with his speaker and whatnot. We'll give him a few seconds. Um, and I will, I'll do a really quick screen share to kind of tighten up a little bit. Um, we have already approved the signage and kind of facade treatment of uh, White Lion. And this proposal is for the outdoor dining space. Whoops, not my touch screen. Um, which is in the plan here and I believe that they're not proposing really any changes at all. Mm -hmm. um, they have cleaned up the table surfaces, uh, repainted the the fencing, um, cleaned up the black. Um, as far as I know, there aren't any proposed changes here. I mean, that's something that we can ask Mr. Barry when he comes in. Um, so it looks like he must have um, logged off the meeting. So if you don't mind, I might, uh, is it okay if we exit out of screen share real quick just so I could see if yep. um, he might have rejoined as an attendee? Oh, there That's he right. is. All right, so I'm going to try promoting him to panelists again. He has to accept another invitation. Oh, there he is. Sorry about that. I don't know what happened. My computer went down. Thankfully, my iPhone was readily hand in my hand so here we go <laughs> great well we're happy to have you thank you for being here um i was just giving a, a brief introduction but it's probably better that that you do that could you briefly describe uh your proposal tonight and yes we'll... it's, it's great it's great to be back in front of you so thank you for your time uh last time i was in front of the panel or the commission was for the exterior signage so we got through that lovely process um a lot of compliments so thank you for all of your assistance Today, I am in front of you and re, uh, regarding the outdoor seating area um, that we are presenting to you. And I'm presenting a layout that has not changed. Uh, we're, using, we're utilizing the uh, setup that was previously utilized by um, uh, the previous occupant. The previous occupant, as well as White Lion, um, the previous occupant had custom made foot plates and seating placed on the exterior of uh, the space. Um, we went ahead and refurbished all of the, all of the tabletops, um, cleaned up the concrete area, repainted the wrought iron fencing, and basically just beautified the area. We're also finalizing the installation of new rope lighting uh, to accentuate the space. So uh, the consumer, uh, the streetscape, um, those that were accustomed to what it looked like in the past, they'll see uh, a similar setup. Obviously it, it will be refurbished and brightened up, um, but we thought that the existing uh, footprint and the existing layout was well-placed and there were no changes 
um, to that particular setup. And um, would you like me to screen share your images or are you able to do that? Um, now that I'm using, utilizing my phone, I will not be able to the screenshot, so I apologize. Well, I'll pop those back up so that everybody can see. All right, so here's the picture of the outside. Cleaned up, are the, are the lights going under the canopy? Yes, yeah, so the lights are will be under the canopy. Uh, if someone were to walk by later this evening, you will see that the lights are operational. Uh, so we're pretty excited about that. Again, it just brings another level of the ambiance and optic uh, to the outdoor seating space. Great. And then we've got the, the floor plan of the outdoor seating space here. The canopy is over in this section. And this one's just the print document. Okay. So um, do you have anything to add or should I open it up to comments and questions from the board members? No, I think I'm comfortable in having it open up to um, the board members. Okay. Great. So um, Lindsay, do you want to start off this time? Any thoughts? Uh, I think it looks great. I'm very excited about it. I don't have any concerns. Um, are there any other views? This is the only one. Yeah, this is the only one they provide. Okay. Um, yeah, the only thing that even slightly caught my eye was probably not in our purview. It's just the door swinging out from the brewing area and the plan. Um, just looking like it might want to go on the other side under the canopy. It looked like it might. Um, can you go back to the plan, Erica? Uh -huh. This one. Yeah. Um, it's probably just, you know, because I look at plans all day, but it just catches my eye because it's kind of like, um, it looks like the the way it's drawn, it's it's sort of cut off by the brewing equipment, but mm -hmm. probably not part of <laughs> what you're here for. So otherwise I think it looks great. Um, I'm very excited about it. And Catherine, any thoughts? Well, I have to say, <clears throat> probably driven by this place, 10,000 times. I didn't realize how much seating area was there and it looks really good. And I also the canopy, uh, again, I had no idea there was a canopy there, but uh, it looks good. And I definitely think the uh, lighting will add a nice touch, a nice ambiance to it. And the furniture is very tasteful and shouldn't in any way offend anybody. So. Yeah, looks good. And I, I, the sign, the signage looks wonderful. Um, so good to go. Great. Um, and I similarly, I don't have any comments I uh, or any, any critiques at all. A, a comment is that I think in the past, um, a, a previous resident of this space um, grew hops up the side of the um, kind of over here on this side, maybe on the corner. And I thought it was a really nice touch to kind of add some green to all of the the, the black canopy and the black furniture. Um, but that's that would never hold you to that. It looked really nice. Um, all right, so barring any suggestions for uh, by a change that so we want to make a, a, a... May I just ask a question? Sure. I think you have a picture of the seating in your packet. Is that right? The chairs? Uh, I don't. I, I either didn't download it um, or it wasn't in there. Oh, Could OK. Because I thought those those came to the planning board. Um, Ray is coming before the planning board on the 2nd of August, I think. So he yeah. can show the chairs to the planning board. They look fine. I just wanted to. Small tables. Make sure that you didn't have any issues with the no. oh, I see. chairs, but okay. Yeah, I don't think I ever um got a copy of the chairs, but oh. I remember uh somebody from the office showed it to me after the fact. So um, they're they're metal, you... right? Metal chairs. Yes, they're uh, met, uh black. They're black. Um, I believe that the base is a dark black or a dark or excuse me, a dark gray or black, and they're all purpose chairs um that will be removed in the evening uh and obviously during in inclement weather 
um, to complement the smaller two seat type tables. So I believe it's a total of six chairs altogether. Are they um, metal chairs or are they uh, made of something else like plastic? They are the um, they're, uh, PVC uh, universal plastic vinyl type chairs. Okay. And when people are at these high tables, do they just stand? Yes, they are tabletop stand-ups. Um, if we need to accommodate someone that wants to sit, there are um, bar stools that we can, that are on the inside, bring out to accommodate uh, their request. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. I Thank move you. that we accept the uh, petition uh, as presented. Second. Thank you. Um, any discussion? Any, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Great, that's a unanimous vote. Thank you very much for being with us tonight. Thank you very much. I appreciate appreciate all of you and looking forward to uh, our grand opening sometime soon. <laughs> well, it looks great. Yeah, it looks great. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bye bye. Um, Jeff, so our closing some tabs here. Our next move is um, to review uh, the minutes from the last meeting. Did everybody get a chance to take a look at those or should I screen share? I'm okay. I don't think I did, if you don't no. mind. No problem. I don't, I don't know if I was present. I was. I you were. You were there. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was another quick one. We did, um, mm -hmm. uh, the Blue Mango wasn't, it, they were removed from the agenda. So we, right, we yeah. talked about, um, whoops, um, the propane tanks in the, in the yeah. back of the, the mm -hmm, building right. by uh, Town Hall, the bollards and things. Um, hang on, let me make it so that I can scroll. All right, I'll do a slow scroll here. I got, I got this far. All page. right. Mm -hmm. That's good. Motion <laughs> approval. And we adjourned. That was an efficient meeting. That was an efficient minutes. meeting, yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this one's a close I second. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing great. I imagine we can get one page of this <laughs> for the minutes. So we'll Maybe. see how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> so can I have a, a motion to approve the um, meetings uh, minutes of May 22nd, 2023? I move that we approve the minutes of May 22nd. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. <clears throat> um, do we have any members of the public who would like to speak tonight? Any other business? Yeah. Great. <laughs> Rob, anything we're missing? Uh, so uh, just to update uh, Lindsay who just joined. So uh, we're looking for two more members to join who have to be appointed from the historic commission and the planning board. The store commission is going to appoint a representative at their next meeting, which is next week. And then the planning board, according to Chris Brestrup, is going to appoint their member sometime in the near future. So you said like what, mid-August? Sometime in August, either the eight, yeah. uh, second or the 16th. <clears throat> but yeah, the problem is that they don't have, um, they don't currently have another architect other than Bruce Coldham, who's already serving on PVPC. Mm -hmm. And Doug Marshall, who's already the chair. So I'd have to kind of arm twist either one of them <laughs> to serve on DRB. Do they have to be an architect from the planning board? Is that what you're saying? A design professional, architect, landscape architect, or other design professional, I think no. is what it says. Could it be somebody who's an artist? Like, does that count? 
Yeah, or someone with okay. equivalent professional training. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, we welcome whoever comes to join us and appreciate their service. We'll try to keep our meetings short. Yeah, right. I'm yeah. like the planning board. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh that's all I had. Okay, okay. grand. And we uh meet again. Um uh, in... so I would say as of right now, the next meeting is looking like uh August twenty first at five. Okay. And we might have another uh application coming up. And that's all I know about right now. So okay. very, very slow summer for DRB. Okay. Excuse I me. August I think 20th. it was August twenty eighth. Yeah. Uh Yes, that's correct. That's my bad. August 28th. I was looking at the wrong day. So August 28th at five okay. is the next meeting sure. for this board. Okay. All right. Fantastic. Thank you. All right. Okay. All right. Grant. So um, move to adjourn. Second. Yes. <laughs> Have a lovely night, everybody. All right. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. We'll see yeah. you soon. Bye. Right. Thanks. See you.